be recording. Oh, I'm talking to myself and that's just, that just sounds silly. Good day up in the mountains today. Here's one of the reasons I love riding. I love the performance, love the speed, love the bike, all that kind of good stuff. You also meet a lot of cool people. It's like those old commercials, so I think from the 60s or 70s for Honda. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. And I'm trying to think through, like, a lot of my friends, I didn't meet friends, and oh, you happened to ride, and then we started riding. I met them while riding, and then they became friends. Jake, Jim, Cameron, Dean, Jonathan. Well, Jonathan, technically, I met in the, the gym locker room. Wait, what? No, I met him at the gym, but he was riding. So that's why I was like, hey, we should, we should be friends. And, um, Boston, Eric, Nico, pretty much everybody. Um, uh, how, how, so, uh, Nick, Nick, Nick Klaus, my Ukrainian friend, he, uh, I met him. We were just riding down the road and he was on the, the on his Harley and uh, we pulled up to a light and he's like, hey, what's up? Let's go get a beer and lunch. Just asked me out on a date right there. I, honestly, I was flattered. And uh, now we're good friends. Uh, Sam and Sarah down in Florida. I don't get to hang out with them much because, you know, they live in Florida, but same thing, just ran into them on the road and Everybody kind of clicked and got similar interests and cool people. Uh, Gregory and the whole and Jorge and all the uh, what you might call it, the uh, Venezuelan and Colombian uh, crew, same thing. So a lot of people I've met going up to the Chevron, and uh, I'll go riding by myself because some days my friends are lame and no one wants to ride. So I'm like, All right, I'll just go up there and either enjoy the road by myself. Or I'll meet some people um, and so uh, I'm up there gassing up and uh, there's a bunch of bikes there a couple Panigales I go over and talk to them I'm like hey where are you guys headed most of them I couldn't understand what they're saying because they're all Russian um, and, and English was was not uh, spoken by most of them a little bit but um, Art is fluent he's fluent and his wife Alexis is American so I had some translators there and stuff. and They're all up from Florida and rented a house in Duluth and they're up there playing around and they got some really cool bikes. I was like, hey, you guys are going where I'm going at the TWO. Let me tag along, I know the roads. I mean, go, let's go play. Really cool people. Had my uh, Cena going the whole time. We're sitting there chatting with them. Uh, awesome, awesome. Um, he's got a big uh, V4. I think I think with a Kropovich exhaust. Panigale, ripping bike, and she's on a Panigale V2, and they can all ride well, and um, and that's the thing, you know, you got common interests. It's a beautiful day. Started out the weekend sucks because I've started taking all my Fridays off, and then. Uh, of course, it starts raining all the time, and it rained Friday, and it rained yesterday. It was raining this morning, and then I looked at the forecast, and it's going to clear up and become sunny. It's low 70s, low humidity. It's an awesome day. So I am glad I decided to go riding. I wasn't sure where I was going to go. I decided to go up to the Chevron. I met some really, really cool people. So, if you guys are watching... Art and Alexis and everybody else. I couldn't remember anyone else's names. <laughs> uh, and, and you guys were the ones I was talking to the most, so that's easy. Uh, but yeah, when you guys come up, definitely let us know. I'll get my wife, get Jonathan, get a bunch of people together. And we'll plan out, you know, um, maybe go up and do a dragon running back or something like that. By that time, the Charahola should be done fixing the sinkhole or washout or whatever the hell happen but we could go up and do a really long day pick some good places to eat some good places to stop and uh, it'd be a lot of fun I need to get out on the bike more and just do this more and I want to get out more up to the dragon and some other roads that I don't travel as much or a change of pace and just to see something different 
So that's one of the reasons why I like riding. Almost all of my friends are people that I met while riding and then became friends with them after that. So it's unfortunate that a bunch of them live out of state. It'd be cool if they were around and could hang out more, but it is what it is. All in all, a good day. And I think Sarah and Sam, I think, are coming up next weekend or the weekend after. They were shooting for the end of September. So they'll come up for a, for a week or weekend or something and we'll get everybody together and go hit some fun twisty roads. I think they're gonna stay up into the Dahlonega area this time. So they'll be close to right where all the cool roads are. So all in all, an end to a good weekend. I'm gonna go home and get out of my monkey suit and park my happy ass on the couch with my dogs and uh, get ready for the work week everybody have a good day Whee! Oh, makes it so easy and so much fun <laughs> all right everybody have a good one. Oh, I'll put the video that uh, I did get some video of us on Wolf Pen Gap a little bit um, it's just kind of leading a ride through there, but from a different direction than I normally go. I don't know if anyone wants to watch it, but I'll put that on after this, so stay tuned. All right, we are recording. You're pretty much going to run it in first or second gear the whole road. Ugh, I just ran over a frickin' log. There's a log in the road. Yeah. I was on the side of the tire when I hit it. That was not fun. That's the problem up here is when it rains, a lot of times it knocks little branches and leaves and shit in the road. And it, yeah, not too much rocks, but you'll come around and find like tree bark and branches. just playing yeah yeah the only trophy you get here is going home in one piece right <laughs> and the road is still damp in spots so I'm not gonna run a normal pace in here But I'm gonna slow down for you guys. Yeah, there's a turn we're coming up here that's really, really tight. So I'm gonna slow down and wait up. Yeah. Going this way is not as bad uphill, but going the other way, every time we come in here, there'll be someone down in the goddamn ravine over there. This left-hander's pretty tight. Nah, no, this one's not too bad. I don't normally run it this direction. I'm usually coming the other way. the roads around the dragon are better than the dragon. Yeah, I'll give you my um, my YouTube channel. 
you can watch like I've got some videos of some really good roads up there from like a couple weeks ago so when you get back up to the drag and hit those roads I mean, I just hang off the bike like you're at a track day. I don't like counter leaning at speed because it makes you have to lean the bike further to make the turn. You can see through the turn better, but now you're getting closer to the edge of the tire. So if you had to tighten up your line and you're already at the edge, you're kind of screwed. So. I'd rather hang off the bike as much as possible and leave myself a chicken strip and not have to worry about it. Counter leaning is good at very low speeds. You know, when you're doing real tight, tough around cones or in parking lots or really technical. Make sure she knows to go right. All right, cool.
lovely day.